Hey, what's up? My name is Rashid Williams. Um, I'm the drummer for John Legend, Jill Scott. I just wanted to kind of holler at you guys about like what I'm using in the rolling world and uh, how cool it is. It's really interesting to be an acoustic drummer because we always run away from electronics naturally unless it's a clap or something like that, right? So we find ourselves kind of wanting to hear the drums more. However, when you find a company like Roland who is making a more realistic sounding piece of equipment, that can not only be realistic, but you can switch between sounds. Not too long ago, there was a set of bongos here. <laughs> I was able to kind of get away from those and use the new hand sonic, which is like really cool because it sounds so realistic and the touch, it feels real. You know what I mean? I can still play the electronic piece the same way I was playing the acoustic piece and it still feels, it sounds really great. The hand sonic is so realistic that it's just like having a set of bongos. It's just like having a djembe right next to you. If you want a cajon, you can have a cajon right next to you. John and Jill's gig both requires a lot of playing. I know particularly Jill's gig was one of the first times I ever had to use one of the BT1s, really layer multiple sounds on those bar triggers. Those things are amazing, right? So. You know, we have like a tambourine, a clap, plus I was playing the snare sound and I had the velocities and all the different levels different so that I can play ghost notes and, you know, not have to really worry so much about sounds playing when I didn't want them to play. Being able to play a show and not use tracks, make it feel live, make it feel authentic to the record and still have everybody not miss a beat. It's been really catering to the part of me that says I still want to be a drummer, but I still want to kind of incorporate some electronic things into what I'm doing, which is really cool because, you know, we come up with this hybrid setup and we find the areas in which we can make it work the best. This kind of blew me away when I first, first saw it. It's like the SPDSX without the pads. In my setup, my thing was, what if I want to add another trigger source, but I don't want to have the full-blown SPDSX because it takes up too much space. You know, the TM2, really, really, really was able to kind of accommodate me in that area because it still has the trigger inputs. You can still load an SD card, which you can, you know, put your own personal sounds on it. And it's just really, really, really convenient. And I think all of us guys out here, we look for the most convenient piece of equipment. It kind of makes it so that you can, you can sit this anywhere. It's so small. It's like, you know, such a small piece of equipment. You can sit it anywhere, but you can still trigger your snare, trigger your kick. You can have separate trigger pads, whatever it may be. And then my setup where it comes full circle for me is I have the hand sonic, which I can play all my percussion stuff. I have the TM2, which I can play my claps on my snare. I can trigger a couple, you know, sample kicks. Roland makes it so that you can fully integrate your drum kit with the electronic world. And I just think that's so cool. I think that without taking any company, for that matter, that doesn't take integrity away from the drums themselves, but still allows you to, you know, incorporate electronics is amazing. And it just so happens that, in my opinion, Roland is doing it the best way. They make it the easiest. They make it the most convenient.